Uh, I want you to open your heart because the man that I'm just about to call to the front, he is a worshiper. Maybe some of you, you have seen him several times or you have been seeing him on your phone. He uh, is an internationally acclaimed worshiper. Hallelujah. Let us keep hands for God. He, he, you know, I don't know, because maybe I'm not qualified to classify gospel musicians because I can't sing myself. But there are things that I know by the Holy Spirit. There are things that I'm able to know supernaturally by the Holy Spirit. So what I'm able to know, what I know by the Holy Spirit, there are people who call themselves psalmists, who are not psalmists, who are just singers, you see. But with him, uh, God has revealed to me, I've never said it really in public. I don't know, I've never even told him this, but that's what God told me a long time ago, that he is a psalmist. So, he's a psalmist. So, the way he has been doing his ministry, it has been more of this normal present worship that is done in the body of Christ. But uh, I don't know how old he is now. Uh, the Holy Spirit was telling me that when he is approaching the age of 45, that's when the psalmist will begin to, to, to come up. So people, they will see a different version of him, a psalmist. Even the way the instruments will be played, uh, there is a vision that I saw. I didn't share this message with him. That's one thing which I like about myself. I don't know what you like about yourself. <laughs> one thing which I like about myself is that I can prophesy at any time, with or without notice. Hallelujah. So this, in this other vision, the, the spirit of Jesus began to show me him singing with a, a very big orchestra, you know, an orchestra. Very few gospel musicians are able to sing with a symphony orchestra. So I saw him singing with a very big symphony orchestra. You see, so God is just about to make him very complicated. And uh, when it becomes complicated, you will lose a lot of friends because there is a genre of music. Uh, I would give you a worldly example so that you understand what I mean. When Oliver Mtugut was alive, he was singing Afro jazz. But the way he was doing his Afro jazz, it was so unique worldwide that uh, it came to be known as Tuku music. There are people who are still follow, trying to follow that genre of music. So there are certain divine notes that the Holy Spirit is releasing in this season upon this man that we are just about to call to the front. These divine notes will cause him to begin to do musical experiments. I feel the anointing. <laughs> Hallelujah. He will begin to do music, serious musical experiments that will confuse our Nigerian brothers and sisters. Very, very serious musical experiments. Hallelujah. And I saw him sing with an orchestra. And uh, I saw three or four orchestras. The other orchestra was dominated by people from Southeast Asia. It had uh, Koreans and people from Thailand. You know these people with funny faces, which are not like our faces. Faces which are not like our, but from East Asia. There were Chinese in that orchestra who were playing these instruments. I think it's the harp, which is like a very big guitar. Yes, all sorts of guitars that we don't normally see in our present worship teams. So God is just about to elevate the gifting. So the Holy Spirit is saying all along what he has been doing for the past, I don't know how many years, it was warm up. The Holy Spirit says he was doing warm up. He was doing warm up. 
is just about to, the Spirit of God is just about to release a psalmist. And uh, so, and uh, the other thing which was interesting when I was in the Spirit, I was seeing an orchestra of the Congolese. You know the Congolese? They've got their own funny orchestra which has got a rumba beat to it, which has got a rumba element to it. So I saw these people were dressed in African attire. They were doing their own orchestra and also doing it with the instruments, including African instruments. And also they would leave the instruments and begin to sing like, uh, you know, a cappella, few playing instruments. So these experiments have been released in the atmosphere by the spirit of Yahweh. He's not alone. He's not alone in that. The people, the, some, the first few people who have been released into that, it's just a few Nigerians, less than five Nigerians, according to what I saw in the spirit. So let us stand in the presence of God. It's now my pleasure in this prophetic atmosphere. Sapratika <laughs> Tsuna. Just lift up your hands. Because the spirit of Yahweh is in this place. Oh, Shimpratika Tsukuna. Sompratika Tsarakai. I want you to be receptive. Because we are going to see a glimpse of what I'm talking about. Maybe you can remove the pulpit. You can shift the pulpit a bit. And then the present worship team is going to assist him. The present worship team, you can come forward. You can come forward before I call him to the front. You will see a glimpse of the heavenly notes that I'm talking about. The handwriting of the Holy Spirit upon his inner man. The handwriting of Yahweh. Before this man vacates the earth, he will download songs which have never been sung anywhere else on earth. He will download songs, songs, hymns. He will download hymns which will be sung for many generations into eternity. He will download songs which are going to trend in many countries and in many languages. It will happen in the name of Jesus Christ. So it's now my pleasure to welcome to the front our brother, a minister of the gospel, Minister Tekshua Zama. Let us keep hands for God. <laughs> 